It was a big thank you to New Mexico today from Chicago Bear great and New Mexico native Brian Erlager as he prepares to be inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame. News 13's Kim Bias continues their coverage from Canton, Ohio. Kim. Well, Brian Erlacher is many things. He is one of the best linebackers in the NFL. He's the leading tackle for the Chicago Bears and a passionate team leader. But many here in New Mexico know him best for his humility. The day started with an epic moment. More than 100 Hall of Famers all together on the steps of the Hall of Fame. There were football greats from long ago, like Dick Butkus, the greats of the 90s, like Emmett Smith and Marcus Allen, and the greats of today, including New Mexico's own Brian Erlacher in the front row. He talked about that moment in an afternoon press conference. That experience this morning, you're growing up as a little boy in Lovington, New Mexico, playing football. Did you ever think you'd be sitting amongst NFL royalty like that? To hear some of those men talk and tell some stories about each other and, their, and what they've been through before the Hall of Fame, while they're in the Hall of Fame, I just sat back and listened. You know, it was just, I was trying to take it all in. You know, never would have imagined I'd be in that room. But he was. He is now considered one of the all-time greats of the NFL. Despite the praise, he remains his humble self. I was giving some some advice pretty early on. You know the difference between right and wrong. Do what's right. And never takes all the credit. I could sit here for four hours talking about people I've met and and, and influenced my football life, my personal life, just so many people um, that have influenced my, my life. Many of them from New Mexico. So many coaches when I was young, Coach Quinones, Coach Faith, when I got to college, Coach Long, Coach Mendenhall. Uh, Coach Franchoni, you for giving me a scholarship to go to college. I mean, there's so many people. Some of those coaches are here in Canton to see their former player make history. When you walk around and you just leave the room with all the Hall of Fame bust in there, and we just saw Brian's um, slot where his bust will be, it's just, I'm in off knowing that, you know, a young man I coached from Lovington, New Mexico, was going to be amongst the NFL greats, and it's just... Uh, just an honor to be here. Erlacher says he enjoyed every moment of it. I'm just so fortunate to be able to go out there and play every day, you know, free school because of it. You know, um, obviously it was my job for 13 years, but it's done so much for me and my family. Now, Erlacher talked a lot about his family and his time in Lovington when he was young. We'll have much more on that coming up at 530. Back to you. All right, thank you, Kim. Earl Lacker and the other Hall of Famers are receiving their gold jackets as we speak. Van Tate will have that coverage tonight on News 13 at 10.